Hello, I'm Kim Titichai and I'm here to introduce myself and hopefully show you some new products that you might find exciting and explain some of the processes I use and how I work in 3D. I've also written a couple of books. This is my first book, Hot Textiles, which is sold very well and covers various heat processes using the iron, the soldering iron and the heat gun. Um, it goes through the use of Tyvek, Lutrador, plastic bags, cellophane, and it shows how people have used the work in their finished pieces. My new book, which is very exciting, which has only just come out, is called Experimental Textiles. And that's actually about the course that I taught for 12 years that I wrote and delivered in Brighton in the UK on the south coast, where we are today. Hopefully we won't hear any seagulls while we're filming. The book covers design right from the original source, from right through to inspiration and interpretation. And it shows various students' works, graduates' works and professional artists. I tend to be known for my work, which tends to be 3D. My degree's in 3D, um, but I've crossed over into the textile field and I have various qualifications in textiles and stitch textiles. I, love, I still love working in 3D though, and the advent of the new very heavy pelmet violin with the glue on, which is like um, um, a pre-stuck bond web, it's just heat activated and works the same way, has made me be able to work on quite a large scale without having to have any steel frames inside. So this is all self-supporting. These vessels are made with the heavy pelmet violin, they've been colour washed with the Procyon dye powders and water. You don't need any fix for this kind of thing because you're not going to wash it. The silk fibres are hand dyed and then ironed on and because you get a little bit of sort of lines sometimes they're a bit heavy it's all been knocked back with painted bond web in the right kind of colours. The colours that I choose tend to be from the fields and the hills around where I live in Brighton they're called the South Downs. Things like um, the way the, the um, grass sort of disappears in the dark night and then the, the sort of paler green fields going into sunsets going into the yellow rape fields. Um, there's an awful lot of rape grown in around in Brighton and the very, very bright yellow with the very dark red poppies is quite exciting. These smaller vessels have been laser cut. They're actually lamps on wooden bases. And I've been working a lot with schools and colleges using a laser cutter. It's um, a very exciting product. It cuts very, very accurately. And I'm trying to get textiles departments to work with things like the resistant materials, woodworking and metalworking, because they're the ones that have the laser cutters and they won't let the ladies in the textile department play with their toys. So I'm trying to show people how you can actually work across different disciplines. And now I'd like to show you my new hotspots. It's a brand new product and it's great because it'll work across any discipline, any craft. It can be ironed onto wood, onto cardboard, onto paper and onto textiles. So it's great for quilt art, anything to do with textiles and for decorating t-shirts, which I'm going to show you.